Bushcraft 412. Today I want to do a review on the Shanghai Shadow I just received. I just picked this one up from Amazon uh, along with the uh, Smith & Wesson boot knife that I just reviewed as well. And I just want to do a quick review on this because I am really liking this knife so far at least. Um, I've been playing around with it for a couple hours now. I can't, I can't seem to put it down. Um, this knife, Cold Steel Shanghai Shadow, is a seven inch blade. It's uh, about a six and three quarter inch handle. So overall length is about 13 inches. Comes with a secure X sheath, and we'll talk about this first so we can get it out of the way. It's uh, your normal run of the mill secure X sheath with rivets, you know, some Chicago uh, style screws holding in the belt loop. Um, nice little retaining clip for the knife. Um, fits in pretty snug. Uh, if you do shake it, it will come out, so it's not the most, you know, it's not terrific. Um, and one of the features I do like about this sheath is that it does open up and there's a snap in there. I know it's tough to see because it's black, but there's a snap in there so you can take this off your belt. So if this is in, you know, on your belt somewhere in the back, you can take it off without removing other things on your belt. So it's kind of a neat feature. Overall, good sheath and I do like it. No complaints about it. Just wish it was a little more of a snug fit. So let's talk about this blade. Um, this is what would be considered a Chinese ring knife. Um, it has polypropylene scales. Um, they're okay. I might paracord wrap it. I'm not sure. I might just do some uh, some grip tape on it. Not really sure what I want to do yet. But as you can see, the uh, I may even take them off because the, uh, the scales are just screwed in with some hex screws. So I might just pull them off and build up some grip tape on there. Uh, let's talk about what this knife is for. I bought this, um, if, if you saw my Smith, Smith and what. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. If you saw my Smith & Wesson video, I've been looking to kind of diversify my knife collection. And I wanted some knives that were a little more self-defense based. So this is one of them I picked up. Um, I'm a big fan of cold steel knives. I know it's touch and go. Some people really don't like them. Some people hate them. Some people have mixed feelings about cold steel, but I like cold steel, uh, particularly their lower end knives. I think some of their lower end knives are some of the better values on the market. Um, and particularly their machetes and some of their low end knives, particularly the, the 1055 carbon steels like this one. I think great values can't go wrong with them. I got this because this is a larger knife. It's 13 inches, um, neat little design. And one of the main reasons why I picked it you know, you have the ring on the end, and also the nice handguard there. I thought this would be an excellent SHTF knife because not only can I use it for self-defense, but on top of that, I figured it would also make a good spear. Um, having this extra ring to secure, and, you know, two points where you can make a good secure connection, I think this would make an excellent spear in, you know, kind of a minute's notice. And it's... Just, you know, I, I just like the style. I like, I like the looks of it. I like the weight of it. You know, it's a pretty heavy knife. It's around 9 ounces. Um, but overall, I really enjoy it. Um, well, let's talk quick about the steel. Because I guess, you know, in these reviews from now on, I really want to start talking a little bit more about the steels and things like that. And some of the research I've been doing. Uh, this is 1055 carbon steel. And the carbon steels are a tougher steel. Uh, stainless steel has chromium in it and that's what keeps it from rusting and gives it the mirror-like finish. Carbon steel has carbon in it which does rust and these are a little more likely to rust than, than stainless steel but they are a harder steel. Um, much more durable, much, you know. Cold Steel uses 1055 for a lot of their products and they have some info on their website about it. They really talk it up and, and make it out as a great steel. Um, I have a lot of machetes with 1055, and I have no complaints with it. I think it's a pretty good dependable steel. It's got a little flexibility to it, a little give to it. But uh, the steel, this is set up more like a machete than a knife. There is a little bit of give to it. I don't know if you can see, but just a little bit of give to it. You know, it's got a little, little give. So it's kind of 
has a feel like a machete. Um, nice kind of leaf shaped blade with nice kind of hollow grinds there. I'm not sure if this technically would qualify as a hollow grind, but I really do like the shape. Very kind of intimidating looking knife. And also I thought it would be a little bit functional and that you can turn this into a spear or something like that uh, for an SHTF situation. Really like it. Now, let's do, since we already did some for the uh, boot knife, let's do some for this. Do some cut tests, regular paper first. This is not, sorry, the angle here sucks. This is a little difficult, but not the greatest cutter, as you can see. You can get some cuts, but not dependable. Not like some nicer knife with good sharp steel. Pull over the cardboard that we were using before. You can see we get some good cuts in it, but not not sharp enough to really slice through this like it should uh, but once again this isn't really as much a slashing knife as it is kind of a stabbing knife um, one thing I'll show you real quick even though it won't cut paper this knife is sharp enough to take the hair off as you can see so it is sharp enough to shave but it's not quite sharp enough for slicing paper, cardboard, and things like that. With a little work, I think this could be, I think if I touch this up with my uh, diamond rod, it will, it'll cut paper no problem. But out of the box, I just wanted to show you how it comes out of the box. Um, I've never had any problem with 1055 getting it to be a sharp cutter. It doesn't hold forever. You know, you're going to have to touch it up. But that's how every knife is. You got to touch them up. You got to sharpen them, especially if you use them hard. Um, so there it is. I think we've gone over everything. And just to know, I guess I'll do it in this video too, just in case you missed and you didn't watch the uh, Smith & Wesson knife. I'll show you just for comparison the uh, Spider Co Tenacious and some cutting with that. As you can see, you know, the angle is bad, so it's not cutting as good as it should. I'm sorry, I'm kind of standing behind the camera doing this, but it cuts. You get some smooth, nice cuts out of it. We'll bring back the cardboard, show you how this. As you can see, cuts the cardboard very nicely. And this is from an odd angle. If I was sitting down doing this, you know, at a proper angle, you could, you know, you could see the spider coat tenacious, much sharper out of the box. I haven't touched this up yet, but as you can see, I really don't have to. So I hope you enjoyed it. This is the Shanghai Shadow by Cold Steel. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them.